This lecture is about data collection technique. It can be used for general research class. I would like to draw your attention on the differences of data collection in quantitative and qualitative research. If you develop categories and quantify the categorization uh, as a part of the analysis of your descriptive or narrative data, it actually become a quantitative analysis okay, for your data. Qualitative types of data collection methods, which is uh, for, such as focus group discussion, oral history, narratives, interviews, these are more on the narrative of the data and these data are very rich and also details. This, if you report in this way, then you're, you are actually doing a qualitative data reports and presentation. The basic tip in quantitative way of data collection, which is in favor to the restrictions imposed on flexibility, structured, sequential order, depth, and freedom in the research process. But qualitative way of data collection advocate against the, these restrictions. There are uh, different methods of data collection, mainly data collection based on secondary source and data collection based on primary source. In secondary source of data collection, we normally rely on reports, uh, documents, media contents or websites, films, and also available data sets secondary data sets in the forms of Excel or SPSS file. For primary sources, we have the common three types of uh, data collection method, which is observations, interview, and questionnaire. I will explain in details later on. So these are the techniques uh, that is going to be covered in this lecture. And we also will discuss about the pro and the cons of these techniques. And there are some reminders, general reminders of the data collection techniques. Using available information or secondary data is one of the techniques of data collection in which out there there are large amount of existing data perceived by the, the previous researcher, either published or unpublished information. There, it is a good starting point for young researcher to do these types of data collections okay, using secondary data. And examples of the available information are files or records, computer database, government reports, other reports or prior evaluations, census data, documents such as budget document, organizational chart, policy, procedures, maps, media data, or contents. Using available information, the pros are inexpensive and the data, because the data is already there, so it is low cost to access to the data. Using secondary data or available information that we can actually permit uh, the examination of the trends study over the past years and also, uh, we do not need to do any form of primary data collection in this uh, approach. And minimum number of researchers are needed to complete the research. The cons part of it is not easy to access data. Sometimes you have to subscribe, register, and also you have to pay for it. And there are some ethical issues may arise, plagiarism of the existing data, and sometimes data may not be precise or complete. And uh, certain data are confidential. How do we analyze uh, available information? The common approach is literature metrics or review metrics, in which we identify teams and use the teams as a column or headings. And we summarize content of each of the sources under appropriate headings. For example, such as this table. Observations. 
Observation is a process that involves with selecting, watching, recording behavior and characteristic of the areas of interest. There are two main types of uh, observation process. Participant uh, uh, researcher take part in the situation or uh, in the obs observation events. Second, non-participant observation. The researcher does not participate, but he or she watches the situation openly or concealed. In observation, we have to be aware of Horton effects. It is a change of behavior of the person or group that is attributed to their awareness of being observed. And what is observed may not be may not represent their true or their normal behavior. This is called Horton effects. Observation has its pros and cons. Pro direct information in details and context related that can be gathered. Observers are permitted to understand the situation better. Observers need to analyze the process of observing. Information exists in natural, unstructured and flexible setting. The con side of it, issues on confidentiality and privacy because we are observing and the infringement of privacy may occur and Observation may be biased, expensive, and also time-consuming. And sample uh, size can be a challenge. We may not be able to get a larger sample size for observation. On the third types of data collection, which is interview, it is a process that involves oral questioning of, of respondents, be it in group or in uh, with individuals. It can be recorded in a written form or through digital recording form. Interview can be conducted in different degree of flexibility, which is high degree or low degree, supported by interview guides. Interview guide is a research tool to guide the interview, which also contain of a list of questions to ask. According to Ranjit, interview can have a structured based interview or unstructured based interview. In structured based interview, the interview process is very rigid in which the structure is rigid, the content of the interview and also the questions are also rigid and close-ended and close in a way. And on unstructured interview, there are some flexibility in terms of the interview structure, content, and also the question. In between, interviews can be of different levels of structure. Interview has the pro, which is able to get the immediate uh, feedback and provide opportunity to explore the topics in depth and allow interviewer to explain and to clarify questions okay, during the interview process. However, the cons part of it, interviewer can be extremely biased. Mm -hmm. Interviewer may distort information. Interviews can result in consistency. Depends on the interviewers. And it's also time consuming because so much data were collected and there is a thick narrative of the data needs to be analyzed. Another technique is questionnaire. Data collected through a form or questionnaire. The questionnaire required the respondents to write their answers or their opinion. Questionnaire can be self-produced or adapted from others. It can be closed-ended or open-ended. There are some ways of administered uh, questionnaire by email or by mail, uh, gathered respondents in one place and administered the questionnaire, hand delivering questionnaire to the respondent and collect, collect it in later time. On these techniques, on questionnaire, the pro is low cost and also convenient, permits anonymity and may result in more honest responses. Easy to administer, minimum staff required, quicker and standardized. For the cons, low response rate, 
no clarification of the question or items to the respondents, no assurance of the addressee will respond to the questionnaire, which require follow-ups by the researcher and cannot be used with illiterate uh, respondents, require some extra training for research assistant to conduct the questionnaire, to administer the questionnaire. Focus group discussion is also uh, techniques of data collection, which is uh, normally used in qualitative research. A group of informants, which is around six to eight people uh, to be involved in the discussion, to discuss on certain subject matter, informally with the guidance of a facilitators. The pro of this uh, group pro focus group discussion is quicker and easy to conduct, provide flexibility to make changes in the process and also in the questions, ability to explore different perspectives, and also it can be fun and also informal. For cons, analyzing process may be time consuming because uh, so much data were collected, may cause confusion, different people with different views may cause arguments during the discussion process, may not be taken seriously by the participants due to the nature of the discussions. There are some reminders when collecting data. The order of the question asked has to be in a good sequence so that the, the respondents will find it easy to follow in terms of the questions. Pre-testing of the research instrument is required, especially to conduct pilot tests to test the instrument. Prerequisite of data collection, these are the things that we need to take note of in terms of the motivation to share uh, the required information by the respondents, some clear understanding uh, of the question by the respondents, possession of the required information, if the respondents do not have the info, they cannot provide any information as the respondent of that research. So the preparation of cover letter has to be uh, informative and also some uh, ethical conduct has to be followed. In the conclusion, researchers may have different ways of collecting and evaluating data which depends on the research area and the purpose of the research. The researcher may combine any techniques of data collection, depends on the situation and the resources available. These are the references used for this lecture.